So it's really easy to install FeedNamer. All you have to do is download it and double click it. If you don't have Adobe Air, you'll need to install Adobe Air as well. Uh, run the installer here by clicking install. And I'm just going to let it go right into my default applications folder. Yours may be different. And so essentially you will be presented with an email address and receipt number dialog box. This is where you're going to enter the uh, receipt number and email address that was given to you, or sorry, the email address that you uh, used when you purchased uh, FeedNamer, your, it should be your, uh, your PayPal address, and your uh, uh, receipt number. So I'm just going to put in my receipt number right now and my email address and register. And it says thank you and you'll never have to see that message uh, box again now you're going to see here uh, this is sort of the standard default window that that comes with uh, feed namer and it comes with the google news uh, rss feed built right in but you can easily just go to any website that you like like engadget and you can just copy their subscribe link and we'll close that up and i'm actually going to delete the Google News RSS feed altogether, and I'm just going to paste in the Engadget feed, say add RSS feed, and boom, it's pulled in all of the titles for me. I'm going to go over here to preferences, and I'm going to check. Uh, this is my sort of my standard default. I only like to search for two-word domains and .com. There's pretty much no, or there, there aren't really many any one-word domains left. If you want to look for one-word domains, you can search for them as well. You can uh, do a combination, and you can search for any uh, domain extension that you like. But I like to search for .coms, and uh, this is the uh, the standard sort of scan window, the domain search window that you're going to want to use. You can type in a, a keyword flag here, and it'll only pull in titles that have the that keyword in it uh, or you can uh, just do a scan all which is what I like to do and it automatically puts all the domain combinations here in the left and then as it uh, does the background who is checks it's going to slowly uh, eliminate the ones that are available and put them over in the right hand column and uh, this will just run uh, you know depending on how many feed titles there are or how many uh, um, titles there are on your feed this could take uh, minutes it could take hours uh, you know I, I've run it uh, in some cases where it's taken two hours because it's pulled down you know 10,000 different uh, different feeds uh, or sorry 10,000 10, different combinations of domains that it's run through uh, and wound up with you know thousands of, of possibles so uh, you can put any number of domains in here and the other or, or any number of feeds in here so you can add additional feeds to this list quite easily or you can just import a, a CSV list a, a spreadsheet of uh, feeds that you've created yourself or just a just sort of flat text file of of feeds uh, and when you're done uh, you can also save this list out and it will automatically save out a, uh, a, a list of all the available domains that, it, that you can kind of go through and, and maybe you know run them through some other software that you use or copy and paste them into a bulk registration tool or whatever it might be uh, and if you want to just make registration really easy you just double click on the domain itself and it will automatically open up in GoDaddy for you.